Meanwhile, Attila hears from you, a question that comes up very often is that of how to play double notes, trills. So we know that when we do single note trills, whatever the distance is, it's left, right, left, right, moving together. All of them the same and they become smaller and smaller. We make, we make, sh make sure that the form is very, very free so that we can minimize it. However, on double notes, if we go left, it would be correct if we go this, this way. But when we go back to the right, we can't go like a single rotation because we off balance then on those two notes. So the rotation is left and left. And as you go up to the right, you're still rotating right to left to make it bigger, right to left, right to left, right to left, right to left, which becomes smaller and smaller. remains the same. It's left, left. You just feel, when I say left, I don't mean that you tilt to the left. I mean that you're coming, the preparatory motion is from the right. You come to the left and you land straight down with the forearm balance on both fingers so that we're not going this way. The whole aim of a good technique is to get from note to note, from interval to interval, chord to chord in a way in a quick way, in a secure way, but landing, finishing the landing where it's very easy for the fingers to put down the keys because they get the support uh, of the forearm, that little bit of support that is needed to overcome uh, the weight of the keys. So this is one thing. The other thing is that there's a tiny out in all intervals with the thumb play toward the fall board. Otherwise there's a feeling of falling back and the other consequences. So it's a little bit toward the body, toward the piano, toward the body, together with the rotation. Make smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. So that's one place. Another place that I often ask about is the Chopin Nocturne, Opus 15, number one in the confuoco, the middle section. So first of all, many people feel stretched. And that's something I can't answer here because there are ways to open up the hand in a way to connect it to the forearm and to make sure that the arm is moving right where the fingers are. And if you see, my torso is moving over because if I stay where I was here at the beginning, my arm cannot get down there and give the support to the forearm. And also the left hand is right there. So the body has to be here. The rotation is the same. It's right to left, right to left. The final playing is left and left. But the left to left, it, it's coming to the left and landing straight down. Equal here, equal here, equal here, equal here. And again a little in and a little out. Very small. I would characterize it more what we call it's a tiny feeling of toward, a tiny feeling of toward the body. The same. So, you know, it's again so much of what happens, it's, it's almost the word as if it is so small, but it is crucial. Without it, things don't work that well. So that's another issue. And also, another thing to note, that when we're playing in the blacky area, it's a little bit heavier. So people push and press even more or try to avoid it. And in so many places you absolutely can't avoid it. If the form is with you, there's a little bit of an extra let go. Without the wrist letting go. Coming down is one piece which makes it very equal, very easy to put more weight down. Just the, the help, the more has to come from the form. Not a relaxation, not a falling, not heavy. Just a little bit of a release. Another example that people often ask about is in the Chopin second ballad. First of all, you see where my arm is, in front of the body. Again, it's an unfamiliar place. As we go down the keyboard, clearly we connected. Everything moves together and here we are and the body has to move a little bit to the left. And it's the same thing. It's left and down, left and down, right to left and straight down, right to left and straight down. So we don't feel tilted this way, we don't feel tilted that way, the form is equal on both. So it's a double rotation. It becomes smaller and smaller. And in order not to end up in the blacky area, we're a little bit out here, because when we play all the way 
white keys Y being the heavier part and have those black keys in between. So we start here, toward the body, moving a little bit in. Always the intervals and chords with the thumb move into the keyboard. So that's where you are. or only the other, because each one serves another purpose. They work together. So this is the combination at the end. It becomes smaller and smaller. How do I know that I'm doing it? You see that my fingers don't curl. If they all stayed out here, they would curl. And you see that I'm not in a black area. So one of the things to know is that what happens underneath a technique and the combination of all the different elements that are needed to move across, to move in and out, to get higher, to get lower, work together as a unit. And what this work is so successful in doing is addressing all the several issues and working on them and then combining it together. Another one uh, that is commonly, uh, commonly shows as a problem is the beginning of the Beethoven Opus 10 number 3. <laughs> So what we have again, we start a little bit out, we go a little bit in, a little bit out, double rotation. The last one is a little bit different because it goes somewhere else. So I'm talking specifically about having double note trills. In the Chopin bar carol, same thing, you see nothing, people come with it all the time as problems. One of the things that they do is down and up. This is an opposite in and out, because the in and out again, always the interval with the thumb is toward the fall board, the other one is toward the body. Another art of, of, of the technique is how we minimize but keep those things. They, they just become very, very small. And this is why it's impossible to tell what is there by just looking at it. And the last one is the Chopin double third etude. Same thing. Left, 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 right to left, double rotation. the notes fall apart. A little in and out, tiny, because you're already in the blacky area when you're playing the thumb and the third finger, you're already here, you're not here. It's much smaller in and out. Some people use two, four, up to you, same in and out, same rotation. So this is it for the moment and I'll see you back soon. Thank you.